every single time I invite Josh out prospecting, it rains. Every single time. <laughs> Hey guys, Chris here from Bogus Prospecting. Had an interesting night last night. I was lying down and I thought, you know what, I should really go out to Sapphire Creek. Uh, I made a video on this creek a little while ago. I pulled out two nice little sapphires and I haven't been here since then. Uh, I had fully intended on coming here and digging out the, a crevice that I know is here to do the giveaway I put up on my Facebook page, but it poured rain last night. It was had beautiful weather all month, basically, and last night it dumped rain, and now it's in flood. <laughs> so I have to make do. I'm gonna start looking for some sapphires, hopefully find some pay dirt to give away, and with a little bit of luck, take home some gold for myself. The crevice I wanted to dig is just there, hard up against that nice big sheaf of bedrock, but um, that's quite deep now, because I've already partially dug that out uh, before, and I couldn't I can't get in there so I've come a little bit further downstream to where this nice boulder is sticking its head out uh, and we've got a nice low pressure system this creek has always produced a lot of black sand because of the granite base that it's got um, and it's got really fine gold as well sapphires a couple of rubies I found up here as well yeah, hey, first pan and got just one tiny nice little speck of gold. I'm about four pans into my hole. Um, and what I'm waiting for is the soil to change because I've worked this creek enough to know that there's an orange layer of clay sitting on top of a grey layer of clay. And in between that's where most of the gold is. And when you start hitting it, uh, your black sand usually gets chunkier. There's usually a lot more of it. And what not and we're just not quite there at the moment every now and again I pull out a speck and you see a couple little micro dots up there actually there's quite a few micro dots in this pen but nothing worth sucking up to be honest so tons of micro dots but nothing you're going to be able to see on camera we've got to get deeper the added bonus of this creek is you get to dig up really cool things check this out there is a quartz crystal not the best specimen but pretty cool to find one just on your shovel as you bring it up this creek was extensively mined in the 1850s um, and there's still evidence of it today. You got the drill holes for blasting down here, and you got another one here, and one just there under the water. From my previous experiences on this creek, I know I have to find that clay layer. The last spot bottomed out um, wasn't much of a crevice and didn't produce anything for me. Where I am now is on a heavy gravel bar, so we've got a nice big wide open space, but then the elevation starts to drop here and the current picks up again. And it's left, or washed away, should I say, all the dirt from uh, around these big boulders uh, as the current's picked up. Now, it's also going to be depositing new uh, gold here as the floods wash over it, because even though originally it would have washed away from around these boulders, these boulders act like a break uh, that you'd see in um, uh, surfing resorts or, or places like that. So when waves, or, or in this case the current from a stream crashes against them, it slows it down. So it's going to drop gold here. Uh, the pain in the butt thing about this creek is you've got to move boulders if you want to get down to those layers, and that layer is usually a couple foot deep. I'm going to pick this rock because it looks big and it looks like it has not moved in a very long, long time and directly behind it it's got all these other larger rocks it's sort of a string running straight down this line here and I reckon that's where the gold will be deposited so I'm going to move all these rocks moved a ton of rocks out of the way uh, this is my second pan I just started getting a little bit of clay so not quite the right color but that's what we are after, sticky clay, and a freaky creature. So we're starting to see a little bit of a difference in the soil. Um, we're getting more black sand, and some of it's getting chunky. I've even seen a few gems pop out, which has been good. 
Uh, we're still looking for the spec count of gold that I want. But there is some gold in there. It's only tiny stuff as you might be able to see popping out at the moment. But there we go. So we've got one, two, three, four decent-ish little specks as we get down deeper. Hopefully we'll hit that orange clay soon. I just got a phone call from Josh and he said he's coming. So while I wait for him to arrive, I've set up the river sluice because I've got to move a lot of dirt to get down to this um, clay layer. I know that in this creek. And I know that all the way down there's a potential for sapphires, diamonds, rubies, gold. Uh, and it's a really slow process digging down there with just that pan. So instead, we're going to shovel it through the sluice. And even though we might not get a huge clean out, we won't miss any good little bits that are in there. Josh and now Josh's sister have arrived from the ether <laughs> um, and I just spotted a tiny little bit of gold right there in my sluice bag. It is titsy. Oh and there's another one there. Very cool. All right I think it's time for a clean out. I've done probably oh, no, a cubic meter maybe a little bit less than a cubic meter of dirt. Um, and again I'm not looking for gold today really I'm more looking for the gems so after this clears out for just a second or two, I'll pull it out. Hopefully, in our concentrates, we'll have a few rubies and maybe even a sapphire or two. Well, that's it in total. We didn't collect uh, overly much in the way of concentrates. Hopefully, there's something good in there. Now when you pan, if you know there's gems, pan a bit slower because they're nowhere near as heavy as gold. They're more along the lines of uh, maybe a bit heavier than quartz and they can easily slow it out. So just pan slow and keep an eye out for anything that sticks its head out. You can already see how much bigger the uh, black sand and the ironstone got. Almost there. Alright, that will probably about do it. Let's find out. Any gems? Come on, baby. Just one. <laughs> I see a little bit of gold, which is cool. There's a nice little flake just there. Nah. No gems, very little gold, a lot of dirt move too, bugger. Unfortunately today I didn't find a sapphire, which is a bit surprising considering almost every time I've come out here I've found at least one, but hey, that's the name of the game, that's what's prospecting. Josh is, you know, trying to dig down deeper to find some of that orange clay that Shania got with lots of gold in it. <laughs> oh, yoga. And I am going to call a day. Uh, thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video as always if you like my channel hit the subscribe button and check out our Facebook page Brogus Prospecting. I hope to catch you out here sometime and check out this goal.